Hey everybody, Eric at Merchant Automotive. Wanted to share a few little tips with you guys on installing a fuel pressure regulator. So you've got a surge or a low pee idle and, and you've diagnosed it as a faulty fuel pressure regulator on the pump. Um, just a few things to keep in mind when, when installing the new one. So I've got the screws out. We're gonna remove the old one and set it to the side. What you'll notice on there is there's two O-rings on this regulator, okay? The new one is gonna come with those seals when you get it. But one thing I wanna be sure that you're aware of is when installing that regulator or your replacement regulator into the pump, we really need to be careful that we're not going in crooked or at an angle, and we definitely don't wanna use the screws to draw it up. The reason for that is we're going to damage these o-rings so you've got a brand new regulator you just put in the o-rings get damaged you get the truck together and now your problems are still there or you've got other situation um, maybe not even it might not even start so a lot of times it's because the o-ring got damaged going in these regulators are right straight from Bosch this is not a cheap aftermarket copy so I have very high confidence in the regulator itself not being the issue so just something to keep in mind. If you do replace the regulator and the problem's still there, um, or, or worse, then take a close look at those O-rings. 